Okay, the continuing saga of uh, repairing my uh, Grizzly G0704 mill. Um, I need to make a uh, broaching bushing for this uh, gear. This is the gear that I've uh, turned down and uh, actually bored out. It's uh, got a 15 millimeter diameter now. And this is uh, a gear that uh, is the intermediate gear. It's a 40 tooth gear. And uh, I need to uh, put a keyway in it. Uh, it's a five millimeter, very close to 316. So we can make that work. But uh, I don't have a, uh, a, a 316 broach, nor do I have a 15 millimeter bushing to go in it. So what I'm doing here, and I'm just about finished with it, I'm uh, doing, uh, uh, making the bushing, and I turned down a uh, piece about an uh, inch and a quarter long and uh, left a little uh, flare at the top to, uh, or step at the top to uh, 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 sit down on the face of the, the gear, and I'm uh, I've got a three sixteenths cutter in the uh, mill, and uh, I'm uh, cutting the slot uh, just right at three sixteenths deep, and I'm just about I think this is going to be the last pass, so uh, we're going to turn things on here and uh, uh, let her rip. <laughs> Let's uh, back that out. I didn't didn't add any uh, uh, depth in, so let's try it again here. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, that was about a about a ten thousandths cut. Pull it out here and uh, take another measure and see how how close we are. I think that was about it, but I'm not uh, not certain. So clean it out there a bit. Take the old calipers. Get it pretty square. And I'm about 13 thousandths over, which is uh, perfect. Uh, it should fit just fine. So, 
take it off here and show you the that's the uh, brooch need to uh, deburr it and uh, uh, maybe do a little bit of filing on it but I think that's pretty well it okay so I thought I might show you some of the details of what I was doing there uh, this is the uh, cutter it's a 3 16 two flute a high speed steel uh, again this is the gear that I need to broach and uh, this is a uh, a BXA uh, 25202 uh, Shars uh, tool holder and it has the uh, the little v-notch in the bottom so you can uh, put round stock in there and uh, this is about as big as I'd want to go in this thing I think but uh, it worked out uh, got got the job done uh, and it's just held in with these set screws had them tightened down pretty good so here's the uh, the part I still need to to deburr it but uh, all goes well. Well, it's not deburred, so it's not going to go in there very well. But that's the idea uh, to put it in there. It'll, it'll uh, fit once I get the burrs off. But that's the uh, the bushing for the three sixteenths uh, brooch. So uh, a friend of mine is loaning me a uh, brooch, uh, three sixteenths brooch. So uh, as soon as I can get that, I'll uh, broach this and uh, also broach the motor gear, which is also 3 16ths, but it's half inch and I have a, uh, a bushing for that. Here's the gear with the bushing installed. I'll, uh, when I get the uh, broach, I'll uh, stick it in there and uh, go over to the arbor press and press it through and use a a shim to do a second pass and that should uh, should uh, pretty well do it uh, get the keyway uh, all set up for it and uh, this gear will be ready to go on and at the same time I'll broach the other gear and it'll go on the motor and I can put this mill back together so we're getting there 